What's going on, everybody? Hope you're all having a fantastic day today. Now, today's video is going to be absolutely massive, and it's regarding Activision. And I gotta say, I'm shocked that they've been lasting this long, but I truly don't know how many more chances they're gonna have until they're completely out of business. Now, for those of you who don't know the history of Activision recently, they just got done with a massive lawsuit. Actually, I don't know if it's still in progress, but let me tell you, <laughs> the head of Activision, Bobby Kotick, was able to slither their way out of that one. But the lawsuit wasn't a tiny one, you know, it wasn't an individual lawsuit. No, it was a lawsuit from the state of California regarding sexual harassment in the workplace. Now, this lawsuit, like I said, was not a tiny one whatsoever, but Bobby Kotick was absolutely saved by the purchase of Microsoft. You know, as everything looked like it was crumbling around him, Microsoft came in and scooped up Activision. Again, the deal isn't completely set through just yet. It's going to take a few years for it to process, but at the end of the day, uh, I mean, <laughs> if you realistically think about it, Microsoft saved Bobby Kotick. And I gotta be real with you guys, to me personally, it seemed like Bobby Kotick was almost reaching out to other people to try to sell off his position so he can be saved from this lawsuit. You know, Call of Duty and all the other games that Activision owns, they aren't a cheap company. And of course, Microsoft is still spending a massive, massive lump sum of cash to acquire Activision and all of their games. You know, to us, it's a lot. And to them, it's nothing. You know, Microsoft, their pockets are endless. But to us, you know, it's a huge number to be able to put forth towards something like, you know, owning this type of company. But I'm starting to think that this company would have been worth more. You know, Activision would have been worth way more. But I bet you Bobby... <laughs> He split a deal with Microsoft saying, you know what, if you buy us out, if you give us a second chance here, I'll cut you a massive deal. You'll be able to own Call of Duty. You'll be able to own all the top dog games, you know, uh, help a boy out. But that's besides the topic. The point here is that Activision has been granted a second chance, and that's very rare to see in this industry. You know, usually it takes one mess up, one mass mistake, and you're going down the tubes. There is absolutely no recovery. So to see something like this happen is <laughs> extraordinary to say the least. But one fine detail that I noticed when Microsoft purchased Activision is that Bobby Kotick came out and said that he wants one last chance. And he openly said, you can go and look it up for yourself. It's written out for every public eye to see. But he said that he will resign if he does not fix the problems in the workplace. Meaning that if these sexual harassment charges you know, ever occur again, if he can't fix them in the actual workplace itself, he is not even going to, you know, he's not even going to wait a second longer. He is leaving. He's getting out and he's going to claim that he didn't do his job correctly and he's going to take the L. And honestly, I'm cool with that. You know what I'm saying? I would be a lot more skeptical if he was beating around the bush and not being straight up with us, but he wasn't, you know, he was very straightforward. He said, if I don't fix these exact issues, you know, he made sure that he's stating the sexual harassment issues. If he doesn't fix that, he will resign. I mean, it couldn't be any more clear. So with that being said, I'm down to follow that set of rules. <sighs> well, look at where we are landing again, ladies and gentlemen. As you can see right here, this news source, I am specifically looking at it from IGN. The article was written by Ryan uh, Dinsdale, I believe is how you pronounce his last name. But there's tons of different articles going ahead and discussing this. All you have to do is just, you know, look up Activision lawsuit on Google and you'll instantly come up with a bunch of posts. As you can see, though, it says Activision Blizzard receives another sexual harassment lawsuit alleging sexual battery, sexual harassment, and more. Like I said, they have already been saved once. And in a situation like this, like sexual harassment, being saved is, <laughs> like I said, it, there might be a 1% chance that you're able to get out of that situation without having any scuffs, you know, any, you know, markups, any damage. You know, it's nearly impossible. They already made it out of it. You would think that after making it out of such a situation, they would 110% try to fix this culture and make sure things are right. And here we are right back at square one with the same exact lawsuit. And to be honest, I don't think there's any saving to be done. You know, Microsoft can go ahead and buy up all the IPs that Activision owns. But if Activision goes down as a company, you know, it is what it is. <laughs> I don't think someone buying them personally is going to protect them anymore. And what really is a little worrisome is what if Microsoft doesn't even want Activision anymore? A lot of people are looking at Microsoft as the saving grace of Call of Duty. And I got to be honest, I wouldn't really consider it the saving grace because Microsoft has handled certain IPs pretty poorly. You know, just look at the Halo franchise right now. Oof. <laughs> but regardless, at the end of the day, 
it's something fresh. It's something new. And I'm willing to give a shot with Microsoft to see if they're able to manage it better than Activision has been able to manage it over the course of all of these years. But what if they just don't simply want it anymore? You know, what if they just don't want this company? I don't know how it goes behind the scenes. You might not be able to, you know, purchase the game separately. But if you can't purchase these IP separately from the company, then they might not want anything to do with it whatsoever. You know, having Activision here with nonstop sexual harassment laws. I mean, like I said, if it was just the one lawsuit and they're able to wiggle their way out of it from a consumer perspective, they're still scum. You know what I'm saying? If it's proven, if it's factual information, they're scum. But from a business perspective about making money, you know, if, if I'm thinking from Microsoft, the top dogs, they're trying to make more money in their pocket. As long as it's only one and they got their way out of it, then clearly they're still capable of making money and they still have a decent enough reputation to hold on to and possibly recover. But two sexual harassment lawsuits. What's next? Three, four, five. What else is going on behind closed doors? Microsoft might just chalk it up and say, you know what? We don't even want anything to do with this because at the end of the day, that means they're associating themselves with Activision, you know? They're not just buying them at that point. Activision is becoming one with Microsoft. And to have someone with that type of reputation joining into your company is not going to look good on you whatsoever. And to be honest with you guys, I wonder if this is why Call of Duty and a lot of other games have been going through absolute hell recently. I mean, horrible release cycles, absolutely you know, no content being released in the worst states that I've ever seen Call of Duty released in since the beginning of this whole overall franchise. I wonder if it's due to just the lack of passion behind the scenes because that will cause a lack of passion, sexual harassment. You know, you guys can have your own point of view on the topic here, but when it comes to a professional environment, things have to stay professional or else the people who are working behind the scenes or working on these projects will not be able to get their passion out onto the actual game itself. It's the same thing like working at a restaurant. You know, if you're dealing with sexual harassment there, they're not going to have a good attitude, whether it's the waitresses or the working in the kitchen. You know, something is going to be going wrong. There's going to be bad attitudes. There's going to be bad blood. It's not going to be a good environment, which is going to produce bad products for your actual consumers, which means people are going to end up leaving the restaurant, which, you know, is obviously a loss for you. And the same thing is going to happen here when it comes to a video game. You know, sexual harassment behind the scenes is going to cause a lot of problems and drama for all of the developers working on these projects. How do you think these people can actually sit down and think correctly, think clearly and come up with cool concepts for Call of Duty if they're constantly going through this bullcrap right here? I'm not saying be completely boring, you know, joking around, having a good time. That's how you push your way through these work days. You know what I'm saying? Every job that I've ever had, at least when, you know, maybe the boss isn't around 24 seven, that's how you do it. You joke around, you laugh, you know, you discuss stuff, you chat it up, you do stupid stuff to pass time to make the day go by faster. But there is a very obvious line, not a fine line whatsoever. It is an obvious, a stupidly obvious line that you are not supposed to cross. Anybody in the world can see it. And if you cross it, you know, you're going to make everybody, not just, you know, the person who you're doing it towards, but everybody in that environment is going to begin to feel uncomfortable, whether they're joining along with you or they're just, you know, really annoyed from how you're acting. Regardless, the whole environment is going to be completely twisted and it's going to ruin the product that you're pushing out the door. For all I care, Bobby Kodak can get the hell out of this company. You know, he said with his own words, that he will leave if he cannot quickly correct this problem. And here we are, and you know, the problem could have been corrected, and it could have been hidden, but we have another lawsuit. You know, it's not even like, you know, some people are trying to start up rumors or people are trying to stir the pot or anything. No, it's another official lawsuit. Like, you have failed. You have completely failed. Not only have you failed the Call of Duty genre, and you made all the fans absolutely despise it with all the horrible microtransaction systems and skill-based matchmaking systems you've implemented into this franchise, but at the same time, you're making all the developers working on this game. Basically, you're making their lives a living hell by not acting upon these things that are being done in the workplace. But ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to leave it up to you guys. What do you all think about Activision and their current spot? Do you think that they should just fire Bobby Kotick? Not even let him resign. Just fire him altogether. Let him be known in history as one of the or CEOs to ever run a gaming publisher. <laughs> Honestly, I think that's how it should go down. Because if he resigns, you know, he's going to get the easy way out. And he's also going to be able to get tons of cash. You know, he's going to be living large. He needs to be, you know, kicked out the door not let out the door. But ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for checking out this video. If you enjoyed it, make sure to leave a like, bums I hate it, leave a dislike. Also, if you're brand new and enjoy the content, don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification button. Also, in chat me, this too, we do so. I have a Twitter and Discord, put the link down in the description. And also, if you want to catch me live streams, video games, do over on Twitch. Link that's in the description as well. But guys, thanks so much for tuning in. See you all next one. Peace out.